Officials are flying purple flags today and say it's because of more fish in the water, which means more sharks in the water. What? And this just might be my last going on YouTube it's your boy Juno Ryan coming at you with another video today me and my boy Chris are out on the beach and we're searching for tarpon there's a whole lot of glass minnows behind us and they're getting crushed by tarpon the birds are going nuts there's a lot of other little uh, dinky fish eating the glass minnows as well so I'm gonna get you guys on the GoPro and we're gonna get on these fish Spinner shark. Yeah. The shark. So that's what we call a spinner shark. Not exactly what we came out here. Give me a good run cut me off got a little bit sharper teeth than tarpon I guess but hopefully we're gonna get out and get on one of these silver kings going nuts Woo, that water feels good buddy it is dead low tide right now so we're gonna have to wade out to where these fish are at Whew. right in the nads Oh, that was a good one. I hate it when that slaps you. And the waves just get you. There's the trough. All my bites are normally on, on the bottom. I don't really normally get them to blow up on top. And it's almost always on the fall. Just like that. Just like that. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! man. Threw it. It's because I was setting up when he jumped. I think if I would have got a bow to him, he didn't feel like he was going to jump yet. Ah! <laughs> Kidding me? That was a big fish, buddy. <laughs> yeah. We've landed, we got 150 and 170. Yeah. Yeah, buddy! I almost want to switch to an x wrap he says. Has he jumped yet? No, but he's not happy. <laughs> is that him? That wasn't him. Now that was, I think. You didn't feel him come up and jump? No. Hasn't stopped? No. <laughs> oh. 
What the heck, man? Holy crap. I locked it too. I had to. You don't have to lock it too much. The deeper you get into your spool, the more drag the reel starts to add on. I saw one fish jump that looked like a too. fish that it was hooked. Right, that's what I thought too, and it didn't look that big. I mean, these fucking, a 70 pounder can run you like this if he really wants to, you know? It's just not standard. I'll tell you what, he's passed out blue water. Yeah. Into the fucking shark central. Oh, oh come on, man. You think he got you on the reef? Maybe. Shit. Wow. That's fucking deep, man. That's you real deep. That could took a lot of line, buddy. You guys can see that so many of these fish fight completely differently. Like some of them will stay close the entire fight and just jump and go nuts. Some of them, like that one Chris just hooked, it didn't even jump. It just literally ran straight out. It's just, they all have a mind of their own and they just fight completely differently. It's wild. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Broke me off. Couldn't bow to him, man. Yeah, I, like walk towards him. Ah, oh, gotta re rig. Chris's dad has been hooked up for the past like 20, 25 minutes, starting to get the tarpon close. Unfortunately, it's always not that easy. Once these tarpon hit the first trough, the trough is where it just kind of drops off immediately, like right as soon as you enter the water. They are extremely hard to grab. So once he starts getting it close, me and Chris are gonna go down and wrangle this thing. Wish us luck. Thing about this Tam, tell I, us. Tell the YouTube. I nation. think that it's Ron's birthday and we're celebrating and he needs to freaking get that How fish in he? here. He's gonna be 51 Damn. tomorrow. 33 years ago today I met Ron over a pack of gum. Is that the best decision of your life? Absolutely! That's I prayed right. to meet that man every day. That man right there. That strong that? man. Yes. Ron Lowe. Woo! Ron Lowe bought a pack of gum. Bought a pack of gum. Get that gill, I got her. Get that gill, get that gill. Get that gill, I got her. Got it? I got a gill, I got it. 
Wave, wave, wave. You. I'll see it. Let me scale. What? Let me scale. Oh, my God. Walking with the tarpon, reviving her. She's getting some water through her gills, making sure she's good to go before we let her go. About ready. There you go. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. She's gone. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work for one fish. Oh. It's not like snook fishing. <laughs> this is the last of the tarpon series. We chased these fish for weeks, and as you all see, the hookup to land ratio is really low for these fish. They are extremely difficult to actually land, so you appreciate it that much more when you're lucky enough to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Get excited. There is plenty more content coming your way soon. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.